So, in one of my other videos, I suggested that maybe it's time for us to start thinking about finding a better way to clean up our sidewalks. Maybe it makes sense to hire some people to go around writing tickets and cleaning up problems, and maybe we could even add something onto our sewage system that could accommodate people and their dogs. Now, plastic bags in the sewer is another issue that we'll have to come up with a solution for. But first I want to address the question of why do I think this is important? Why should we prioritize this? And why should we spend money on it when there's so many other things that are in need of our attention? Well, it's not because of the mess. It's not because I think it's dirty or it annoys me. Um, I've been in Brooklyn for about three years and I've stepped in a pile maybe one time. It's, it's not an issue in my life. It's, it's, uh, it's not something that upsets me. I, I feel like dis disgust is a choice and it's a choice that I um, try not to ever entertain myself. The reason why I think it's important is because it affects the way people feel when they see that. We have an evolved uh, response to the things that our body has no use for. Um, that part of our digestive output is the parts of our food that are not ready for our body to use them. And um, we have evolved to have kind of an aversion to it so that we don't um, we don't end up close to it and we don't end up uh, suffering the consequences of being there with it. So when people see it, it might not be a problem, but it still evokes a little reaction and it makes, it makes people think that others aren't taking care of the city um, and it kind of gives a little bit of a negative, uh, a, neg a negativity onto the other people in the area. Um, and it's little things like that that give people a kind of subconscious idea about a neighborhood or an area or an entire city. You know, cities have a reputation for based on how clean they are. And it's a really important thing that we have developed over centuries. You know, that like in the past it was common for sewage to be in the street. Now we've decided that it's important that we commit resources to making sure that's not the case. And um, I think that this next step makes sense for a couple reasons. Um, now, how much money would it really cost? I mean, if there was a sensible disposal system that people could get behind, then I think they would mostly clean up after themselves. And we wouldn't need a huge police force of people picking up leavings and uh, you know people love their dogs and they understand that this is part of taking care of them and if we can make it just a little bit more convenient I think that will go a long way. Another reason why I think this is really important is because I think that it will help people get along better in a really fundamental way and this is this is a little bit a different topic but I think uh, you'll see that it's actually related. Now, one of the problems that we're facing as a modern society is homophobia. Um, now that we have the resources to mostly live our lives as we choose, a lot of people are coming out of the closet and we need to understand what that means for our culture and we need to learn to live in harmony. And I think one of the main reasons why some people have a problem living in harmony with that reality is because they are afraid of being associated with that lifestyle. They, some men don't want anyone to think that they would have sex with a man. And I think, I think a big part of that aversion is an aversion to feces. They don't want anyone to think that they would have anal sex because they are averse to feces and, uh, and the, the very idea seems disgusting to them.
And I think that if we can make a change in our culture so that feces are not present, they're not part of our lives every day, we're not constantly being reminded about the um, sanitation problems that they present, then I think it will help those macho guys to relax and really appreciate the other parts of that lifestyle, which are extremely sanitary and uh, very beneficial for everyone. Um, and I think that, in, first of all, it will help everyone relax to know that um, there's not this uh, unsanitary issue in our streets. But I think it will also go a long way towards helping us appreciate everyone, regardless of their lifestyle, and uh, just helping people relax in general. Another really important thing that I, that I feel very strongly about is the issue of looking down versus looking up when you're walking down the sidewalk. Uh, when you look up, you not only interact more uh, intimately with the people in your, in your environment, but you also just naturally feel better when you're straightened up and when you're erect. Um, it just, it makes you feel better in a way that is very deep and subconscious. It makes you look better, makes you more attractive, more noticeable, more proud, and it helps you notice the, not only the people, but also the businesses and the natural parts of your environment. It helps you notice the clouds, the beauty of uh, your city, and, it helps you notice other people in time so that you can decide to stop and say hello if you want to. It's not like uh, people are always passing you by and then you're like, oh, that person looked interesting. If you're looking up instead of looking down at the sidewalk, then you have five or six seconds to say, hey, this person looks friendly. I'm going to say hello and see what, see what I can learn from them. So I think that if we do a better job with our sidewalks, it's going to have some really important consequences. And I want to point out that David Brooks recently published an editorial that showed, it discusses a lot of the ways that our government could help us be more happy that have nothing to do with money or making our business, business lives easier. Uh, he, he pointed to a lot of findings that show what really makes people happy. And, money is notably absent from many of them. So I think that what we need to do now that we have an advanced civilized government is start prioritizing the things that are natural to our psychology rather than just assuming that uh, money will trickle into all the crevices and fill all our problems. So if you have any questions, definitely send them directly to me. Thank you.